Hey viewers, it's DC Coin World International Coin Channel here. We just tried to do a live video of this coin, which is the 1977S Eisenhower dollar, and it was an epic fail. We essentially um, filmed it sideways so nobody could see it, and the sound was bad. And so we're trying to sound again different, and we're trying to film it not sideways. And we're trying to show you the whole coin this time. So right now we're looking at the back and we will flip it over. And those of you who tried to watch the other one, we're sorry about that, but here it comes. The 1977 San Francisco Mint Eisenhower dollar. And as you can see, it, it is in the mint casing. Uh, this one we left in the mint casing because oddly enough, these coins are not worth that much. Uh, they're worth three to $4. Uh, they are sometimes worth more in the mint set than they are in the uh, individually. And why is that? Well, in 1977, the United States was getting ready to stop producing the Eisenhower dollar. And so this particular dollar was on its way out. And because they had so many materials uh, for it, they decided to just print, uh, mint a bunch of them. And so in 1977, this particular Eisenhower dollar um, they made 12.6 million of the Philadelphia and Denver Mint dollars, and they made 2 million of the San Francisco Mint. And you can tell this is a San Francisco Mint dollar because if we magnify it way up here, we can see there's an S underneath. So if you see this S on uh, a 1977 Eisenhower dollar, you know it came from the San Francisco Mint and it came from a mint set. And again, for those of you rejoining us, we're sorry about that epic fail on the last um, Eisenhower dollar uh, that we tried to do. Uh, we filmed it sideways, and uh, when we got to the end, we saw that the sound wasn't good either, so we dumped it. But here it is now. It says, Liberty at the top of the Eisenhower dollar. Eisenhower is facing to the left. It says, In God we trust under his chin. Again, there's the S here in the 1977. And there's something else I haven't showed you, and that is right down here, Underneath his neck, there is an F and a G. So let's see if we can magnify it a little bit more. And you can see the F and a G. They call this the truncated portion of the Eisenhower bust. That's a technical term. And see the F there and a G there. That's for Frank Gasparro, who was the lead engraver of the U.S. Mint uh, for a lot of years. And this is essentially one of his coins that he made on his way uh, towards retirement, maybe the last of the great coins. And when I say that, you say, well, that's kind of a basic coin there. One of the things we want to look at is how big the Eisenhower dollar is compared to the Kennedy half, which is next to it. It's huge. And the other thing we want to see and try to figure out why this coin is worth uh, is such a great coin is we want to flip it on its back and look at the back. And that's why this is the probably the masterpiece of the Frank Gasparro engravings. It says, United States of America across the top, e pluribus unum here. There's the earth poking over the eagle's right shoulder. We see the wings and amazingly detailed wings and body feathers on this eagle. And we see down below the eagle it is clutching an olive branch. So the eagle, the sign of war and power, and the olive branch, the sign of peace, both landing on the moon. And we can see the craters of the moon here. And then over here, if you notice, Frank Gasparro's initials are on the front and the back of this coin. And so we have the FG here also. And then down, way down at the bottom, you see that it says one dollar. And so this coin here is, it looks silver-ish, but it's not actually a silver coin. It's a copper nickel clad copper. And uh, if you, we tipped it on its side, you would see the copper center, but because we have it in the mint set, um, we don't have the copper on this particular one. Now, they made this coin from 1971 to 1978, but in 1975, they didn't make any because they were making the bicentennial version of the coin. And so in 1975, no dollars were made. In 1976, this came, dollar came out with a bicentennial back, not a moon landing back. And then they uh, 
reintroduced it again this year, 1977, for the 1977S, but because nobody was using them, uh, they made it in 77 and 78, and then they stopped. So these are collectible, but they're not uh, really valuable. Again, 3 to $5 range, unless you get it um, uh, checked um, and, and actually uh, send it to one of the coin agencies. And it's going to cost you 6 to $8 probably to have them check it. And a coin is worth 3 to $5 possibly. So it's really, there's no sense in sending it in to have it checked. All right. So that's all we have today from our live version, our live messed up version of the 1977 S San Francisco Mint Eisenhower dollar. And we, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and look at some of our other vid videos. We do have the 1977D Eisenhower dollar video, so you can see the Denver Mint version of this. And uh, we also have the 1977 Kennedy half, if you want to look at that. All right, have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.